These are the five great Muslim warriors of India who made India the greatest economic power. At the time of these Muslims, India was as far as present-day Afghanistan. Most of the schools and colleges in India are built by Muslims. Muslims were the first to create a single India. During Alauddin Khilji's time, no one dared to enter India. The Mongols, the world conquerors, could not win the war with these Muslim rulers. Among the five greatest Muslim warriors of India, Aurangzeb is the first name that comes out. He was the ruler of the Mughal Empire and fought various wars for 40 years and extended India's borders to Afghanistan. He gave equal rights to people of all religions. India was the richest nation during his rule. He had the most powerful army. He first conquered China and later created a united India from Siachen to Mount Kailash. Aurangzeb removed taxes from food and wheat. At that time, 25% of the world's money was in India. Aurangzeb's annual income was 10 times more than the kings of France. During Aurangzeb's reign, India was the largest cloth manufacturing country. The clothes they made were sold all over the world. Dollar had no value during Aurangzeb. His artisan Indian rupee was equal to 100 British pounds. Tipu Sultan was the second name among the great warriors of India. Tipu Sultan was the first to develop missiles in India. Tipu Sultan was the richest man in the world in the 1800s. He had so much money that he could buy any country. Several times the British never can't ruled during Tipu Sultan's time. The British said that we cannot rule India as long as Tipu Sultan is there. Tipu Sultan created the most powerful navy in India. Tipu Sultan was equally adept at wielding a sword with both hands. India's first dam was built by Tipu Sultan, which we now know as RS Dam. India was the largest producer of silk during the reign of Tipu Sultan, during which all the silk was sold to France, Russia, and Japan. The third name among the great warriors of India is Alauddin Khilji. He was such a warrior of India that he was feared by Mongol soldiers. He killed the Mongolian soldiers in 1257 in such a way that they were forgotten on the streets of India for many years. Alauddin Khilji cut to pieces the 2,000 Mongolian soldiers who came to rule India. The taxation system that Alauddin Khilji administered is still administered. The laws enacted by Alauddin Khilji to curb the rise in commodity prices are still in use. Alauddin Khilji had the largest army in the world with over 500,000 men in his army. He built many mahals and madrasas where free education was given. Baba is named as the fourth most powerful warrior in India. Baba was the first to establish the Mughal Empire in India the Mughal Empire he created ruled India for 400 years. He first used gunpowder in India and brought the technology of making cannons and rockets. He had the most powerful army at that time. He had weapons far more powerful than those of Europe and America. He conquered entire India with only 20,000 soldiers. Babur built many mosques and madrasas in India the famous Babri Mosque in India is named after Babur. This mosque was built for him by his commander, Mir Baki, in 1527 AD. The fifth name among the powerful sultans of India is Sher Shah Suri. Sher Shah Suri was Babur's general, and he brought the whole of India under his suzerainty. After the establishment of Suribans, Sher Shah Suri built the first highway road which was the first highway road in India. Sher Shah Shuri started circulation of Indian rupees which are still considered to be part of Indian currency.